In this video, we are going to look at the differences between CPM and CPC campaigns. These are the two different ways of paying for advertising on the Internet, or for publishers, earning from advertising on your web pages. However you're making money from your Internet business, you will need to know how both those approaches work and how to make them work for you. CPM stands for cost per mill, or cost for every thousand impressions. You'll pay a tiny amount each time your ad is served with the price calculated for each batch of a thousand impressions. You'll pay that amount regardless of what users do after they see the ad. You're paying for the exposure, not for the lead. The hope is that given enough exposure to your ads, users will eventually click, visit, and place an order. And when they do click, you don't pay any extra. With CPM campaigns, a higher click-through rate means better value for your money. CPC stands for cost per click. It's one of a number of performance-based advertising programs for which advertisers only pay if the user performs a particular action. In this case, that action is clicking on the ad. It doesn't matter how many times you show your ad. If no one clicks on it, you pay nothing. The impressions will be free. You also gain nothing, but at least the fail won't have cost you money. You only pay if someone clicks and sees the offer on your landing page. With CPC campaigns, a higher click-through rate means you're also paying more money. So CPC ads look very attractive, especially when you're just starting out. If your targeting is off and you're showing your ad to the wrong people, it won't matter too much. They won't click and you won't pay. That's not true of CPM ads. If you're showing those ads to the wrong people, people who have no interest in your product at all, you still have to pay. That's a good principle to bear in mind, but it's not quite as simple as that. As we'll see, there's a good reason that large companies tend to run both CPC and CPM campaigns. When you're building your internet business, that's the goal you want to reach too. You want to have both effective CPC and effective CPM campaigns that buy traffic on different websites in different ways and monetize them on your web pages for a profit. CPC isn't the only performance-based advertising strategy. Others include CPA or cost per action, CPL or cost per lead, and CPI or cost per install. That one's popular on mobile devices. As an advertiser, you only pay if someone installs your app. But for most online businesses, CPC and CPM are the two most popular and the two most effective forms of buying traffic. And the two most popular platforms to buy that traffic are probably now Google and Facebook. Each of those platforms works in a slightly different way, and each has its own advantage and disadvantage. AdWords, Google's advertising platform, sells both CPC and CPM ads. Both are targeted mainly by keywords. Google supplies a keyword tool that allows you to draw up a list of keywords that people are likely to enter into a search engine or which appear as content on a web page and which are relevant to your offer. Your challenge will be to find those keywords that are in the sweet spot between high relevance, low competition, and low pricing. That often means jumping on the long tail of the keyword list. Unless you have a large budget, you'll probably want to skip the most obvious keyword phrases where the competition and the prices will be the highest, and opt for unusual search phrases that will bring you traffic without costing you five or ten dollars or more per click. That's not straightforward. Both CPM and CPC campaigns need to have three elements in place and optimized to deliver traffic that you can sell on for a profit. You need to target the right people with the right ad and make them the right offer. As you start advertising, you will need to keep track of how your ads, your targeting, and your landing pages are doing to make them more efficient. You'll spend a lot of time tracking your stats and seeing what works and what doesn't work. In time, and through testing, you'll learn. You'll learn which keywords deliver the most clicks for the least money. You'll learn what kind of ad copy is most likely to get people to click. And you'll learn which landing pages are most likely to generate conversions. And yes, you will need landing pages. The CPM or CPC ad hooks the reader, but it's the landing page and the copy on that landing page that drives the sales. And that's what's most important. If your CPC ads are giving you a click-through rate of 0.2% or more, you'll know that your ads and your targeting are fine. But if you're not making conversions, 
you'll be spending money on those clicks without getting anything back. High click-through rates don't always translate into high sales. When that happens, it may be because the offer isn't good, but it can also mean that the ad or the targeting doesn't match the offer you're making. Dating sites, for example, have found that using pictures of half-naked women in their ads will produce a high click-through rate for ads targeted to men. But those ads will do nothing for their on-site conversion rates. People don't click those ads to sign up for a dating site, so those companies run ads that produce lower click-through rates but which generate a higher conversion rate. It's more cost effective. Learning which ads work best for which markets and for which offers will take time and it will take data. And that data and that education? That will cost money to gather. Once your ads are up and running at their best, you'll get that money back. You'll be able to just leave those ads up and set a budget of, say, $100 a day and sell that traffic on from your website for $200 a day giving you a $100 profit from that channel with no more effort. The goal of your CPC and CPC optimization will be to create a long-term, hands-free revenue stream. But until those ads are up and running at their best, you will be paying for your education. When you're using AdSense, whether for CPC or CPM campaigns, part of that education will be identifying the keywords you need to target. On Facebook, it's a little different. Like Google, Facebook also accepts both CPM and CPC campaigns, but most of the campaigns run on the site are CPC. The targeting here isn't by keyword, but by demographic. You'll be able to identify the kind of people you think are most likely to buy your product. So, if you were selling bodybuilding equipment, you could make sure your ads were only seen by men 20 to 30 living in particular urban areas. Wedding photographers, for example, have known about this for a long time. Because Facebook knows so much about its members, people who supply wedding services are able to target engaged women aged 25 to 35 living within a 50-mile radius of their studios or workplace. That's exactly their target audience, the people who aren't just most likely to click but also most likely to place an order. There are few other platforms that can tell them which of their users are currently preparing for a wedding. The big advantage of Facebook's advertising, then, is that you can really target your ideal buyer. The downside is that for CPC campaigns, Facebook uses an algorithm. It will take a look at your ads, decide which it thinks is likely to be the most effective, and show that ad more often. So, if you're running a campaign of five ads with a $50 budget to see which of those five is the most effective, you'll find that one ad might soak up $25 from the budget with the other half of the budget spread out over the other four ads. That makes testing and making meaningful comparisons across the ads very difficult. It's nice that Facebook thinks it knows what's good for your campaign, and the result may be that you're getting your best performing ad promoted the most often right at the beginning. But Facebook's algorithm can be wrong. It may be able to track click-throughs, for example, but it can't track conversions. And ads that do well in their early days can quickly fade away over the long term. It's in Facebook's interest that you get as many click-throughs as possible, because that's what will net the company money. In a CPC campaign, Facebook only earns per click too, but it's in your interest that you're getting conversions, not just clicks. Facebook won't look that far. You should know for yourself how those ads are doing, but Facebook's algorithm won't give you the full testing that you need to generate all the data you want. One method that big advertisers use to get around this is to run the same campaign multiple times. If they're running a test of five CPC ads in a single campaign, they'll run the exact same campaign five times. That can trick Facebook into giving each of the ads enough of a run to make meaningful comparisons, identify the best performing ads, and drop the rest. Now the benefit of Facebook is that you can really hit your target profile. But while the downside of a CPM campaign is that you're paying for every impression, even when it's aimed at the wrong audience, the advantage of running a CPC campaign is that you can cast your net a little wider with minimal cost. So you might start by targeting your key demographic, but then you can also run some ads aimed at other groups. The site that sells bodybuilding equipment, for example, could see if young women also want to get in shape using the same gear. A wedding photographer might produce a different ad and a lower offer to target older people marrying for the second time. Because those ads are CPC, if they miss and no one clicks, those campaigns won't have cost them any money. CPM campaigns, by contrast, 
have to be much more finely targeted. One common mistake that affiliates often mistake is to run CPM campaigns that lack focus. They imagine all the different people who might click on their ads and take up their offer, so they show their ads to as many people as possible. The result is that they lower the click-through rate of their CPM campaigns. They pay to show their ads to people who aren't interested, and they raise their user acquisition costs. Success with an affiliate program relies on paying as little as possible for traffic, then earning as much as possible when those users click the affiliate links. If you're paying extra to show your ads to people only a small fraction of whom will ever want to click, you're lowering your profits. When you're running a CPM campaign, whether you're doing it on Google or any other platform, the best strategy is to focus your campaign as finely as possible. Pick the low-hanging fruit, the people who are most likely to buy, or the keywords that are most likely to be used by the people interested in your offer. That may cut out other potential customers, but it will give you the best returns for your CPM budget. You'll want to target your CPM campaigns in at least three different ways, by gender, by location, and by age in 10-year increments. Depending on what you're selling, you may also want to add other factors, such as children or interest. If the main product on your affiliate page, for example, is children's clothes, then you'd want to make sure that you weren't just selling to young women in their 20s or 30s living in a certain area. You'd also want to make sure that you were targeting mothers, the people most likely to buy. Facebook is one site that lets you do that. Remember, the more you niche your CPM market, the lower your spend and the higher your ROI. Your goal when you're running a CPM campaign will be to become an expert in a particular demographic. You'll want to conquer that demographic completely so that you know exactly what kind of ads and what kind of offers work best with that audience. Again, once you've conquered that demographic, you may then want to branch out into other demographics. But each time you try something new with a CPM campaign, you'll need to stay highly focused. One strategy that big advertisers use is to run multiple campaigns across different groups. Each of those campaigns targets just one niche demographic with its own ad and landing page. The alternative strategy is to go for bulk. Some advertisers do spread their CPM campaigns relatively widely. They do that because it's easier to manage and faster to roll out. They don't have to keep checking their stats and trying different ads and landing pages to see what works. It saves time. But of course, it's also more expensive in the long run. You'll also want to use frequency caps in CPM campaigns. This is the maximum number of times that an ad is shown to a user over a particular period. If a user is never going to buy, you don't want to waste your budget pitching your ad to them again and again. Three times a day is best, although some advertisers have found that frequency as high as three times an hour can work too. Start with three times a day. And one advantage of running a CPM campaign on Facebook is that you won't have to deal with the company's optimizing algorithm. The company will just spread your ads out evenly, giving you a good chance to see which ads are the most effective. So to summarize, when you're running a CPC campaign, you can spread your ads broadly with little cost. You'll be looking at conversions rather than just click-through rates, and if you push beyond your target market so that you don't win clicks, you won't pay for that wastage. CPM campaigns need to be tightly focused. They'll allow you to wring as much as you can out of a particular market that you understand perfectly. But here's the thing. Once your CPM campaigns are focused and optimized, you should find that they're the most efficient ways of buying traffic. You won't be paying per click, and you'll have created a high enough click-through rate to make up for those impressions that don't produce a result. So, as you're building your internet business, Create CPC campaigns matching your ads on Google to the right keywords and landing pages, or on Facebook to the right demographic. At the same time, test CPM campaigns to demographics that are as tightly niched as possible, then branch out into other niches. Your final result, after all your testing, should be a steady stream of optimized traffic from more than one channel, and reliable, hands-free profits. Thank you for listening. Go to adbullion.com and sign up for an affiliate account right now. You'll get access to high-converting exclusive offers that you can use to build your own million-dollar campaigns.